Yeah, I, I would say this. Uh, for, for those who think there's a double standard, uh, and take, uh, for purposes of this discussion, assume there is a double standard. Assume Hillary Clinton should have been prosecuted, and it was not fair that she wasn't, that Joe Biden should be prosecuted, and it's not fair that he's not. That's what these people believe. The answer to their complaint about a double standard, the question they should be asked, is even though Biden has escaped scot-free, Clinton has escaped scot-free, fill-in-the-blank has escaped scot-free, is the answer to the double standard to let Donald Trump escape scot-free? Is the answer to the double standard to revert to no standard at all? I think that's wrong. I think Republicans have rightly believed for a long time that when you don't pr prosecute criminals, you get more crimes. And the answer is when you've got the allegations in a complaint like this with the conduct that uh, that, that uh, indictment shows, uh, the prosecution is entirely warranted. Worry about the others later. This is the decision before you. I want Republicans who think Trump should be given a pass to say so explicitly. Don't what about it. Talk about whether you think this complaint, this indictment, shows criminal behavior. And if it does, we should all favor prosecuting. All right, former Ambassador and National Security Advisor John Bolton, thank you so much for your time. A dramatic day in Miami as Donald Trump is about to take off on uh, his plane from Florida.